Hi, I'm Zach Shellhart, a program manager on the Windows Azure Marketplace team. Uh, what we're going to walk through today are some of the new things that we've been working on in the past few months uh, in order to enable application and data developers to easily publish and monetize their data. All right, so the first thing that we've done is we've logged into the Azure Marketplace portal with your Live ID, so I've already done that. Um, and we're presented with two different options. Uh, there's two different things you can sell in the marketplace right now, those being applications and data. So for this walkthrough, we're going to add an application. And the first screen that we're presented with is a screen for contact information. So this is uh, company information, phone number, website. So we're looking for a support contact information, a primary contact information, and a business contact for business issues. So we're asking for email address, phone number, um, and then a company URL. So go ahead and enter all those things. And as you can see, I've got them all entered there. So we'll go on to the next step, which is the details page. And so these are details about your specific application. Uh, so the first detail is offering name. Um, and then we've got a short description. So short description is meant to be pretty terse. Um, and then we've got a normal description with, uh, pane, which allows for rich text formatting. You'll also be able to select multiple categories um, so that users that are browsing applications can find, find your application under any sort of a specific category. The three technical pieces that we need are a client ID. So this is an ID that you use in your code to, uh, to, to know what the user has purchased. Uh, client secret, and this is a way to verify that your application is actually talking to Azure Marketplace and not an imposter. And then the redirect URI. Redirect URI is where a buyer of your application is redirected after they buy. Um, the last fields are screenshots, offering logos, and links. So screenshot and logos, these are images that you have to upload. Um, and then links are documentation links, FAQs, uh, things that you host on your own website. So magically enter all of that. And you can see I've uploaded some images. I've entered my client secret my U redirect URI and my client ID. And then I've added a link for documentation to the Contoso Financial Help page. And then we'll go to the next screen. This is for pricing. So you can see there's a button here for adding a price. So we support multiple prices per application. So we're going into the price screen here and we'll see a uh, field so that you can enter an offering name. So this is the basic version. It costs $200. And in this case, the pricing is always a per month fee. Um, so this is a $200 a month app. And then we can specify which markets we want to make it available in. We can do worldwide. Um, in this case, I've selected Canada, the UK, and the United States. So we'll save and close that. And now you can see a, a row here for that version that we just added. $200 a month retail price. And then we can edit or delete those rows as we add them. Um, the next field is the EULA field. So this is another rich text field. This is for you to put in your standard end user license agreement. This is something that the, the buyer of your application clicks through in the process of buying it. And then a URL for your privacy statement. And so we'll link to that from your, the application's listing page. So now we've entered all that. We go to the status and review page. And this is a page where we're alerted to any errors and any of the information that we may have entered earlier. So in this case, there are some errors with, uh, for instance, the size of my screenshots um, and the size of my application logo. So this will give me the opportunity to correct those errors. Um, I don't have the images right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and save and close it right now so I can come back later. And then you can see the Contoso Finance app here on my offerings page. So I've only got one right now. Um, you can see that the status is that it's in draft format. Uh, I haven't fixed those images or anything yet. So I haven't submitted it yet. So from this page, I can go back in and edit it. And when I edit it, I can, I can submit it for publishing onto the Azure Marketplace. I can also check out some reports on it, which if we check on those. And now I can see how many users are buying it, what the user agents are, the people buying it, um, and a few other metrics there. Now I can go back here, and if I'm not happy with my offering, I can potentially delete it or edit it. I can change the pricing, um, really change all that data that I just walked through. So that was a first look at the application and data publishing portal available soon at the Windows Azure Marketplace. It's a really exciting way for you to monetize existing data that you may already have, as well as applications that you've written on the Azure platform. In order to, in order to learn more, go to marketplace.windowsazure.com publishing. Thanks.